Welcome to the Real Estate Furniture Exchange. We will be signing up on the website to create our profile and our store. After filling out all the required details, simply check the Terms and Conditions options and go through them. Click Submit. Once your registration has been approved, you will receive a notification email. Thanks for registering on the site. You'll then be able to sign into the website. Simply add the username or email address and password you used while signing up and click on login. You will then be directed to a page where you'll be required to register for listing. Click on it and add your email address and the store name. Once done, you can simply hit confirm. You will then see the steps to set up your store page. Simply click on let's go. Please note that you are free to add only the information you have. Not all fields are mandatory. You can see how the store logo has been updated by uploading the file, selecting it from the system and submitting it. In this first step, you will have to add your store details uh, such as the store logo, the store banner, you can update the store name, the email address, phone number, the store address and all other relevant details including the store description. Once done, click continue. The second step has the payment setup information. You can choose to accept payments via PayPal, bank transfer or cash pay, which simply means cash on delivery. Hit continue. The third step is where you can add the policies for your store, such as the shipping policy, the refund policy, the cancellation, return or exchange policy. The fourth step is where you can add the customer support information if you are going to be providing customer support for your store. The fifth step is going to have you add the SEO title for your store, the meta description and meta keywords. You can click on the question mark icon for more information. You can also add information regarding your Facebook and Twitter pages over here. In this step, you'll be adding the URLs for any social media platforms you would like to link to the website. And that's it. Simply click on let's go to the dashboard. You can also click on how to use the dashboard for a more detailed view of how the dashboard works. This is the render dashboard. You'll see some options in the navigation menu on the left, such as the home, photos, products, auctions, orders, customers, add to my store, settings, payments, ledger book, reports, reviews, and an option to log out. From here, you can add a new product by clicking on add new. On the add product page, you may add all the relevant details regarding the product that you are looking to provide, such as the product title, the pricing of the product, images for the product, and a description. You can also choose from when to when do you want the product listed. You will find more options to link to your product below. They are not mandatory, you may hit submit once you have added all relevant information. We usually follow this description when we are adding furniture so we would like people to know the condition the measurements of that particular furniture you can add, a, add an image um, from the right side like you see on the screen simply select your desired image and hit select and you're good to go These are some of the categories are uh, linked to your product that you can update as well. Once again, they're not necessary to be updated.
so you can leave these blank if you have some particular product policies regarding this product you may add them here simply hit confirm once done you can then go back to the website and scroll all the way down to the store you have created and you'll find the product you've added over there simply hit with it if someone wants to purchase the product they will simply add it to the cart, which you will see in a while. Scrolling down, we see the product we just added. Simply add it to the cart and go to the checkout. These are some more options regarding the product. Once you go to the checkout page, after entering all the billing information, you can now go ahead and place the order. Since I did set up cash payments, uh, the way to make a payment over here is cash on delivery. These payment settings can be updated through the vendor dashboard.